Hello, my name is Christy Sampson with LTV. And here on Facts at Five, we're going to talk today with Christopher Berry of East End Cares. Uh, Christopher is the fundraising lead um, for the East End Cares $5 for Food campaign. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm great, thank you for uh, coming on the show today. Well, thanks for um, having me. So, um, Chris, you, you live in East Hampton and you're in the television industry yourself, right? Correct. Exactly. Been a resident out here for about seven years, uh, part-time. Oh, great. Um, so for those who might not know, um, be familiar with East End Cares, can you tell us a little bit about the organization and how it was first uh, founded? Sure. Happy to. Uh, so East End Cares is primarily a social media-based group that connects local volunteers with needs in East uh, in the East End. Of I, I like to think of it as a grassroots problem-solving group where volunteers lead initiatives and lean on each other for support to help give back to our neighbors and to um, create a better community to live in. That's lovely. Um, and now, was the group formed around a particular natural disaster? It's been around since, um, since Hurricane Sandy. So really looking for ways to uh, take care of our local communities and people in need from natural disasters. And then it's now expanded into um, a lot of other initiatives, which I can get into as well. Okay, great. Thanks. So I understand um, there are multiple ways to help, but can you tell me what East End Cares is doing for the community right now with regard to food insecurity? Sure. So I'm the fundraising lead that you mentioned for a new urgent campaign really around uh, stocking up our local food pantries. And so we've called it $5 for food, as you mentioned, and really it's about every little bit helps, right? Um, everyone is encouraged to give $5 or more if they have it. And 100% of the proceeds are going to local food pantries here in the East End. So that includes East Hampton, Sag Harbor, Montauk, and the Springs. And it's a partnership between East End Cares and the Clamshell Foundation which is a local nonprofit here in East Hampton. So it's really about getting money to the, the food pantries um, where there is urgent need right now, given the crisis and people losing their jobs. So let's take a step back and talk about food insecurity in broader terms. What does this phrase mean hmm. and why is it so dangerous to a society? Right. Well, I think, you know, first of all, food is a basic need for everyone, obviously, but we need it for our survival. Um, but we also need it to thrive and to contribute back to our communities and take care of our families. So it's really a fundamental um, basic right that we all have as uh, community members. And when you think about people at risk, it's not uh, a small group. It's, it could be the elderly, it could be um, families with young children, and it could be just people that have lost their jobs and have hit a hard time. So I think what we're trying to say is we don't want this economic crisis to turn into a food crisis. Uh, we need to really step it up as a community to take care of each other. And I think those that have the means and that can actually give back, whether it's $5 or more, um, we can help our neighbors um, power through um, what is a, a real uh, challenging time. So before the pandemic, was food insecurity a problem here on the East End to begin with? Yes, so there have been significant needs uh, in the East End um, that tended to be a little more seasonal. And in the winter months, um, there was a higher need for, for, uh, for, for people. And then in spring, there was more employment and people were able to uh, support themselves. And what we're seeing now is that there's even more pressure on the pantries as job losses are really hitting all sectors within uh, our community, whether that's retail, whether that's um, restaurants and bars, hotels, um, contractors. So it's a really pervasive issue as we look look ahead. And I've done some informal polling with, uh, with the group uh, staff at each of the four pantries here. And I can safely say that from what I've, what I've gathered that the needs have increased two to three times um, over normal um, pre-COVID levels. And that it seems like right now these four pantries in, a, in this month are serving about 1,500 families, which equates to about 3,000 to 4,000 individuals. So I think we all need to think about that. There's people, three to 4,000 people here on the East End that are really in need of desperate um, 
food and it's urgent and uh, significant. People get help if they need it right now through either a pantry or East End Cares. Who do they reach out to and start the process? Yes. So you can do uh, research online with the four different pantries that I mentioned. They have quite a bit of information available on their websites. Uh, East End Cares is also a social media based group that I mentioned. So Facebook is our primary uh, um, focal point, but we did launch an Instagram feed um, as well. Uh, so if you go into East End Cares, you'll see information about the four pantries and when food is um, being distributed locally. So you can check it out there. Sure. Um, Christopher, do you have any other thoughts to share on this subject? Um, you know, anything that the readers and viewers might appreciate here? You know, I think it's really just about uh, the needs are significant here in the community and we really are focusing on um, food as a basic human right and hoping that, um, you know, when we help each other, we can make our community stronger. And I think that's the message we want to get out there is uh, we're all in this together and um, we're hoping that um, with the means and resources we can, we can push through. That sounds really wonderful. And, you know, from, from here at LTV, we want to say thank you so much to you, to East End Cares, and to the food pantries for doing this good work that is really so critical right now. Um, Great. And, so you know, I think, I think the other thing that I'd, that, that I'd like to say is just how people can help a little beyond uh, the $5 for food campaign, um, if I can. Oh, sure. So yeah, I think, you know, the, so beyond uh, monetary donations, obviously those who have time, that's also an important um, way to give back to our community. So you can become a volunteer buddy through East End Cares for those who are um, staying at home. So those would be individuals that are uh, and at risk. So that would be individuals over 60 years of age. Those are who are sick or living with someone who is sick or someone who's quarantined. So, uh, you know, that would be people coming from New York City that should be quarantining themselves for 14 days and staying at home. So Easton Cares will provide you a volunteer buddy to go out and do shopping or other errands so that you can stay safe. So I think that's important. Um, not only are we keeping individuals safe who are staying at home, but we're also keeping our community safe, right? So that we're not passing along um, COVID to each other. So I think that's a really uh, important initiative. And uh, all you have to do is check out our Facebook page or email us at eastendcares1 at gmail.com and just let us know uh, what you need and if you're volunteering, what your skills are and uh, how you want to give back. And then I'd say generally, uh, you know, we're at, uh, and then generally it would be great uh, if people have any other volunteer um, you know, ways to give back to the com community. It's always good to sort of follow your passion and find those other uh, groups that need help too. Yeah, you know, from my point of view, um, there's a book titled The Hidden Gifting. And in that book, um, Dr. Stephen Post, the author, really describes that giving back and volunteering is one of the most meaningful ways to indeed help not just your community, but also uplift yourself in that in that as well. Um, and I know that, um, you know, research has shown that this is a really important way to interact with each other and to keep yourself uplifted. So, um, Christopher, do you have that experience as well? Hmm. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think, um, you know, during challenging times, you know, we all can feel a little overwhelmed uh, with the current situation. And um, I think giving back and finding ways to really uh, improve uh, quality of life um, locally and with people that are in need uh, is, a, is a great thing. And, um, you know, we all go through different phases of life and um, sometimes you can give back and sometimes you might need. So I think it's important to um, try to do what we can when we can. Exactly. Well, um, again, Christopher, thank you so much for um, coming on the show today. And thanks again to East End Cares for all of the important work that you're doing. And uh, everybody should stay home, stay safe, and stay well. And thanks again, Christopher. Thank you. Thanks for having us.